Yo, what's going on? It's your man, Dual Bag Johnson. Super fast, we're gonna do a how to video today. It's making your own green screen. An extensive list will be uh, in the description below. I'll tell you exactly what you need to get. This whole project cost me less than $24. Let's get to building this thing. Check it out right now. The Zamp Camp. Things are about to get nutty. This is all you need. This is all you need. So, we have five foot lengths here of half inch. It is PVC Schedule 40. You see that right there? It's very easy to paint if you do want to paint it. And then I have one five foot length of one inch Schedule 40. You'll see why I got the fatter one uh, later. That we're going to use for the, um, the actual feet to give it some uh, rigidity and uh, give it some strength when it's standing. Um, rigidity, is that even a word? I might have just made that word up. I'm not really sure. So I did get a five by 10 foot. Uh, hopefully that'll be big enough, but definitely will be at least for uh, you know sitting and some standing projects. But uh, it's a nice material. I don't know if you could see that. It's got that like canopy. It's a real tough material. So the thing was only like 13 bucks. Again, there'll be a link in the description below. So then here, this is it. This is your main details. So what you're looking at is four one inch caps. That's gonna go for the feet. And then if you wanna get cool, you can put some felt or rubber on the bottom. That way, if you're ever on like a hardwood surface or something, you'll never scratch it. I have four half inch couplings. These are all PVC. Two half inch T's, two half inch 90 degree elbows. And these things are a half inch uh, OD, so you, it's gonna stick in here. This is basically a converter. And then this part screws in, so this is a half inch coupling, technically, um, but it's gonna go into these. So this is, this clips on to the one inch pipe perfectly on the outside, and then this here has the one inch uh, inner dimension threads. This is gonna screw into this and this is gonna adapt to my one inch pipe over there. It's gonna clip on the one inch and then it's gonna, this is gonna go in the half inch. You'll see, I'll put it all together. So you're gonna need two of these T's, a clip. You'll need two of these couplings with the screw ends. And then probably some more of these, but uh, two of these, these strong clips. That's gonna just clip the uh, screen on there. So uh, let me uh, remount the camera and I'll show you exactly what we're gonna do here. All right, so. Uh, you are also going to need something to cut the pipe with. I'm going to use my trusty Sawzall because I love uh, to act like uh, axe murderers whenever I can. Or perhaps Sawzall murderers. Ah! Don't murder anyone, ever. Only projects. Because I'm about to kill it, son! Oh! oh. Got him! So this part's pretty simple. You're going to start by getting a tape measure. Uh, the other last thing you'll need, no applying. And a marking pen or a marker and you're gonna measure them all out to 30 inches. So you want it to be at two and a half feet because you got five feet. So you want to basically cut every single one of these in half, exactly in half. Well, measure measure every single one from the same side and you should have all even pieces at the end. And that's, that's all you're looking for is, you just want them to be evenly matched, 30 inches. And holy crap, it is definitely starting to rain. That sucks. All right, let me get these things cut. I might have to take you guys inside to finish this. Cuts don't have to be perfect. No one's gonna see the cuts but you. So we're not over here trying to turn this into a a lump fest or anything. Go ahead and put this together. So holy shit! All right. Fuck. All right. Getting poured on. Damn it. I'm not worried about it. I ain't scared of no tornadoes. So after you cut your pipe, it's gonna look all like frilly on the end. Do you see how this looks? So simple, really. Just go like this with your hand. Just be careful that you didn't do a crappy job cutting it because if you did do a crappy job cutting it you might have like some type of a like a jagged edge like kind of like a hook and then you kind of ah and then you stab your finger and all of a sudden blood everywhere that's basically it and then just kind of bang them out and boom pretty clean good enough at least all right let's put this thing together i walked in and there it was the cuteness hi Guy. all right we're gonna put this together all right Guy? Ah. 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 Now, we're gonna put this thing together. I'm gonna start picking from my pile of stuff, as you can see here. So I'm gonna start with my two one inch pieces, and basically we're gonna take these, and then you're gonna take these adapters here, the one inch with the um, 
to half inch coupling and you're just gonna snap them on in the center. Uh, what I recommend doing is grabbing a tape measure, bing, and measure 15 on center. So I'm about center there to the top of this post. You see what I got there? And snap it. They're a little tight. All right, good. So now you got that going on. You got your two pieces. These are your feet. So this is where things start to get awesome. It's gonna start to come together actually before I put that on the ground. Um, now you're gonna take your couplings that look like this. You got your threaded to your half inch and you're gonna thread them in here. And you can just do this hand tight. You don't have to go crazy. Um, I'm probably going to actually get some pliers and tighten them up all the way though. Ding! You find you the rustiest pair of channel locks you can. Just kidding. Mine just happened to be kind of rusty. But get a pair of channel locks or pliers that are going to fit around that. And you're going to tighten it up all the way. And once you get it as tight as it can be without breaking it, you don't want to crack it. That's good. Okay. So, so now you'll have two pieces that look like this. Okay, cool. So now you got feet. Kind of like these. Ah! Can't lift my leg that high. Ah! Ah! ah. Got gee on the background. All right, so now that you got your feet, you're gonna take your one inch caps and you're gonna stick them on the end of the feet. <laughs> this is just to kind of give it that finished look. Now you do not need, holy shit, you do not need to put plumbers glue on these or anything like that. Sometimes you might get some little uh, jaggies on there. I didn't clean this one all that well. I was in a hurry to get the stuff in from the rain. If that happens, just kind of run your finger across it and then boom, you're good. So now it looks finished off. You got two feet. See? That's why I said don't worry about your cuts. No one can see if they're crooked because you're going to have stuff covering it. This thing is actually going to look good when it's done. Now I'm not going to paint mine. I really don't care that it's white. I'm not here trying to impress the world. Sydney, it is hot out. All right, so now you're gonna assemble your top piece and then you're gonna uh, put together your uh, connecting bottom bracket. So for the top piece, essentially, you're just gonna take these elbows and you're gonna pop one like that and then this part's gonna fall on the floor and then you're gonna go down periscope kind of periscope look no all right whatever line it up like this you could eyeball it if you want but you can see what I'm doing I'm using my eye essentially to line it up like that so I know okay so now you got two feet and you got a top plate now you're gonna make your bottom connecting plate this is gonna be for support so it doesn't kick out at the bottom like that so essentially you're just gonna take the T's and you're gonna stick one on one end easier if you just lay it flat on the table you know you're putting them on straight and then boom stick the other on the other end nice and snug okay so now let's recap kids this is what we have we have a top plate I mean a top uh, piece a connecting piece for the bottom and we got two feet the weight of it is gonna hold it together it's not gonna fall apart so but if they're really snug in there you find yourself fighting them to get them out just like that. So don't go too crazy. Um, I'll probably end up, I'm not gonna put grease. I might just take a little bit of Vaseline or some deodorant so it's a little lubed up but smells nice. Uh -huh, you know what I'm saying? Pro tip, deodorant. You can use it to grease hinges and stuff like this and it keeps it smelling nice. I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? Cause them ladies, they don't like stinky hinges. All the other ones are all two and a half feet or 30 inches. So you'll Put a coupling at the top of that. Okay, so you're gonna start assembling it. So you're gonna take those 30 inch pieces. You're gonna stick a coupling on each end like that. And then, boom. One in one end. And one in the other end. So, now, to make your life easier, I did not, I don't need this coupling on here. That was my own stupidity. So, when I put those couplings on there, scratch that. These, these, they get stuck onto the feet. It'll be a lot easier to put the whole thing together if you connect the feet now. So you're gonna take your first foot 
and it's gonna stick right on there like that again you don't need to make this too snug okay so now that you got your your base going here you're gonna essentially start assembling Avengers assemble cool so now you have your feet your base your bottom connecting rod and when I say rod I mean the bottom okay. connecting rod what you think I meant people god dirty minds so now you're gonna take Team Ramrod yeah Team Ramrod so excited 420 next year baby Super Troops 2 so now you're gonna take your 24 inch pieces see the ones that were ah I mean 26 inch pieces because we cut four inches off the ones that are a little shorter shut up math and you're gonna stick them in oh yeah you're gonna dirty. stick it. <laughs> it wasn't. I just said, oh yeah. You're dirty. Yeah, show. All right. So boom. See that? You see? You guys see what's happening now, right? Is everyone understanding? Now you're gonna take your other pieces, and here's the cool part. We cut these and these down in half. Okay. To make it adjustable. So if you decide that you're just gonna be like sitting or something, you don't need it any higher than this. You just do it like this and like this. Yeah, we made it so we can go nice and big, people. Because, you know, some people are as tall as Shaq. And if you're as tall as Shaq, you need a big stand. So, you see what I'm saying here, right, everyone? So now you have this going on. And technically, if you were just sitting, doing, like, desk work or something, you want the green screen behind you, boom. You can connect this right here and then hang your green screen from here. And it's, it's already a perfect height. But I went the extra mile. And I'm actually probably going to cut these down to make it even more adjustable, but I don't have extra... Uh, man, that's going to be taller than the ceiling. I did not realize that, that was going to be so tall. Okay. I am going to cut these down. You do not need these to be that long. This was slightly trial and error. So I'm going to go cut these in half. If I cut these in half, that'll bring me to there. That'll be perfect. I'm going to cut these down to 20 inches, and I'll be right back. Go take a snack break. Yeah, take a snack break, you know what I'm saying? Eat a Snickers because we all know I'm not myself when I'm hungry. Holy snake. Alright. I think we're doing it, people. So, you are ready to put the final pieces together. Essentially, you're going to take your last two couplings. And now, we have shortened these pieces. Um, okay, so, I might be out of frame on one side. So, that would get you seven feet. So, if you're filming something where they're standing in front of it, that would be perfect. Um, now, for me... Uh, no one in my house is at all anyway, so if I was filming anything standing, seven feet would uh, already be way too much. Um, so, we're going to go and we'll be at six feet, two inches. Uh, so, yeah, you can see what that looks like next to me. I am a shawty do wop like I said. So, you're going to take your couplings, last two, you're going to stick that on there, pile drive that on there. So, boom, coupling. This, this, this would have been way easier outside, people, but it was raining. Sorry. Apparently we got down there. Shit, I keep tripping on this thing. Don't trip on it like me, everyone. 100%. You guys ready? So now you're going to take thing, your top piece that you put those elbows on, and you're going to start here at one side. Ah, the coolest part about this thing, guys, I'll show you. Besides the functionality is when I'm done, how easy it is to break it down. And if you get yourself one of those like little like a uh, tent bag or something, you can store all the pieces in that. And you can tote it around to you. So if you uh, think you're going to be doing any shooting somewhere else, like with a friend, and you want to move from house to house, or you think you're going to be doing some outdoor stuff, and for whatever reason you want to throw some green screen out there because you got great outdoor lighting, this will be a perfect solution. You're going to take an unravel, unravel, unwrap material. Now the one thing you might run into from being in the packaging for so long is it's probably gonna have creases. Um, that might affect you when you go to start filming. So I'll find out though, I'll, I'll guinea pig it for you. Uh, the creases don't seem too bad. Uh, let's go ahead and unwrap it. And this is where you're gonna need your, well that's my watch weaving, the clips as well, so. I grabbed some more clips. So, uh, ideally, what you want to be able to do is get this thing nice and flat. So, boom. Look at that. Perfection. 
and it ain't going anywhere. All right, everyone, so now I'm gonna show you how quick and easy it is to break this bad boy down. So, pretty simple. You're just gonna start by taking your canvas off, folding it up nice. That's what you were doing during mine yesterday. Get over yourself. People around here be bugging no turn. Have fun eating your cookie. Alright, so I'm not the quickest at folding, but you get this thing folded up. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna get this thing folded apart. Ready? No, me! No, no more apart! I am pulling it apart. Alright guys, so check it out. I'm going to show you how simple it is. Last step really is to just pack the bad boy up. So, again, you can get a bag like this off Amazon for probably less than $10, I wouldn't doubt. You can get it probably, you can probably go right to Guitar Center if you got a local guitar center or music shop in your area. Yeah, get something yeah. like this for super cheap, but you just take all your pieces, just put them right in here. Every almost every single guitar bag will have a front pocket. You can take all your little small pieces and your couplings. Now, if you want to take all the rest of the couplings, take all your clips and stuff. That way, you get you don't get it all messed up. But if you want to put any of the other small pieces and couplings and elbows, you can take it all off if you want. But they stay on there pretty tight, so you don't really need to. So yeah, boom, check it out, right here. This is an entire green screen in a bag. You can take this thing wherever you want, set it up when you want, put it around you want. Awesome. Yeah. There you have it, people. DIY green screen, and it's adjustable in size. So see how you got that extra draping? You can raise this thing up a whole extra 20 inches, get it to seven feet. So if you got Shaquille O'Neal or The Undertaker show up, and you're good to roll. And then you got people like Tony hiding behind it. Don't touch it though, okay? Don't mess with it. I haven't even gotten to use it yet. So yeah, we're gonna uh, have some fun with this thing. And I know you guys will too. Uh, let us know down below if you uh, made one or if you plan on making one or give us uh, some links so we can check out some of your videos maybe that you guys have used the green screen in. Uh, and if you made one just like this, you know, feel free to share how you did it. Maybe you came up with a better idea than me. So this has been awesome. It's your man's Dual Bag Johnson, checking out. Peace. Just wanted to thank you for watching this video. If you liked what you saw, pop that thumbs up button. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you have not done so already. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Google+. Give us some Twitter love. Bye, friends. And we really enjoy when you guys leave us comments down below. The, the family, family that plays together stays together. together. <laughs>